Local 4 News starts now with a forewarn weather alert. The snow is moving out on exact track 4D radar, but no mistake to be made here. It is nasty still. We are not finished with very dangerous cold and these high winds still whipping across southeast Michigan. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now at the roads. Very slick in some spots. The wind, it just keeps blowing the snow around. Driving isn't getting any easier as well now that it is dark outside. And the number of flights in and out of Metro Airport today drastically reduced. A lot of frustration for air travelers who have not been able to rebook, or couldn't do it before the storm, and now really tricky to try to do it uh, in the mess and the height of all this. We are still under a winter storm warning. That will stay in place here for the next 10 hours. And you know what, really, even if you haven't been outside, you've probably heard the wind yeah. howling. Let's get over to Kim Adams now with a look at where things stand right now at this hour. Kim? Well, let's start right off with we did not get anywhere near the snow that we had expected in the models anticipated, which is not uncommon this time of year. You get a little dry air in there, but for us, it's the blowing and the drifting. So it's been snowing since about 10 o'clock last night, fairly consistently, but very light snow. It has totaled up more than you think, but it's been blowing around because of those 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. So it's very difficult to measure this snow because we do have drifts that are close to a foot in some areas, but then completely completely just grass or a trace um, in your neighborhood. So it's difficult to measure. We're still getting snow even at this hour. We are keeping a close eye just north of I-69. That's where the heaviest snow is falling right now in Lapeer, Flint, also over into Sandusky, getting the heaviest snow at this hour. So we do remain under that winter storm warning. Typically, we would only be under maybe a winter weather advisory. It's, it's not that much snow. We know this. We knew that earlier in the week that this was going to be snow, wind, and cold. And that's why we do have that winter storm warning still in place is because of this bitter cold and the roads are going to refreeze now that the sun has set. So it's going to be slipperier as we go through the next several hours. Also, the wind chills are at dangerous levels. 24 below is the current wind chill out at Metro Airport. Feels like it's 19 below in Mount Clemens. 17 below in Pontiac and we keep those dangerous wind chills throughout much of the weekend. So a very cold weekend ahead. Now temperature change. This is pretty dramatic just within the last 24 hours. We have seen a 30 to 35 even more than that in some spots temperature drop. Much of this drop came between midnight and 6 a.m. For the day tomorrow, if you do have travel plans, which many people do, it's not a problem with the snow. It's going to be the ice and the slippery roadways still having blowing and drifting because our winds tomorrow are going to remain around 30 to maybe 40 miles per hour at times. It does improve a little bit throughout the day, but it is still going to be tough getting around even tomorrow. Well, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest forecast information, the best way to do it is to go to your favorite app store, type in WDIV and download our forewarn weather app today. All right, Kim, a view from behind the wheel this afternoon. This was the scene in Macomb County. Folks, uh, for the most part, taking it slow, even if you got a big pickup truck like this guy on 22-mile oh, road between Hayes and Garfield. Lots of people have made the choice to brave the slippery road conditions in many cases, of course, to get that last minute yep. shopping done. But in the case of our Tim Pamplin, it's his job to be out there driving. <laughs> he joins us now live. And Tim, where are you right now, and uh, what are you seeing where you are? Yeah. Well, what I'm seeing is Oakland County roads appear to have pulled out one of these uh, graders that do the dirt roads out in the rural areas. And we're up near the Great Lakes crossing. As these plows do their job, they're exposing ice under the roadway, making it very, very difficult uh, to traverse. Now, we've got some video. Uh, take a look at this. This is just a little north of here on 75, up near Bay City, Saginaw, that area. White out conditions. I got a call from a sheriff's friend who lives out in a rural area, and he said, let the viewers know that if you're going out to a, a, a party this weekend or a gathering, and it's in a rural area with lots of open fields, expect to see lots of blowing snow. That's exactly what happened up here in the Bay City area. All the snow blowing in these high winds causing whiteout conditions. So just uh, be warned as you head out this weekend to uh, celebrate the Christmas weekend. Back to you guys downtown.
All right, thank you, Tim. And as you saw there, they have a lot of snow up in the Auburn Hills area when underneath that snow is ice, making conditions very tricky for travel this morning. A look at the big picture here throughout Metro Detroit, slow moving traffic all over the place. Now take a look at the speeds we're seeing on all of our area freeways slow, like 37 miles per hour, 39 miles per hour here over on I-96 and then over on I-275 things looking a little bit better there at 64 miles per hour. A couple crashes to get a around today over on westbound I-94 right at I-275 so right near the airport here in Romulus your center lane is blocked watch out there over to eastbound I-94 at Telegraph your left shoulder blocked in that area and then two accidents over near the downtown area so over on eastbound I-94 right at Shane you've got your left lane blocked there major slowdowns here and then also over on the southbound side of the lodge right at Chicago Boulevard your left and right lane are blocked because of a crash in that area again no matter where you're headed, make sure you're giving yourself plenty of extra time to where you need to be and drive cautiously. Devin. All right, Kim, another big concern going into today, uh, looking worries over power outages, not having heat in single digit temperatures can be pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's a very serious concern. Yep. DTE says right around 9,000 customers right now are without power. That number has actually yeah. dropped that's significantly good. in the last few hours. So that's the good news. Here's a wide view look at the outage map showing that so far the outages have been pretty much scattered. Zooming in a little bit closer, you can see that some of the largest pockets of lost service today were on Detroit's west side near Grand River and Wyoming, Dearborn Heights near Joy and Telegraph, and also a part of Hamtramck as well. Uh, also on the eastern side of Anchor Bay, Fairhaven, Marine City, they've seen between 500 and 1,500 customers in that area affected. Other parts of the state, Consumers Energy says about 3,800 of its customers have lost power. Now, in temperatures and wind chills this extreme, the best advice, of course, is what we've been telling you. Stay inside if you can, but for many, it's just simply not an option. Yeah, Grant Herms went outside to see how people were coping with the cold, made so much more severe by the whipping winds, which you can hear on Grant's microphone. While many were able to stay home or drive to work in warm cars, so many others weren't forced to carry on with their lives like the world had in turn, snow and ice on a day like this, venturing to do the most mundane things can be extraordinary, like waiting at a bus stop in a blizzard. This is the stop at Michigan and Cass, where security guard Juan Nunn is waiting for the number three after working an overnight shift and had been waiting. Good 30 minutes. And waiting. 30 to 40 minutes. In the elements. Pretty cold. Yeah, but I can understand the bus is a little slow today. But when the winds are more than 30 miles an hour, a little slow isn't such a little problem. The gusts shake the plexiglass and whip snow at their feet, making the bus stop shuffle, as described by Vince Wade in the next shelter, necessary. Walk around a little bit and shake the body. And Lawan agrees. Try to keep moving. <laughs> That's really all you could do. Everyone waiting on the number three in the wind and the snow when it finally arrives, a respite from the cold, from the bus stop, and the blizzard. Go to sleep, warm up, get under the covers, that's really it. And to make matters worse today, so many bus routes have been delayed or canceled because of the storm. DDOT and SmartBus have their routes and those route changes up online and on their apps because of the storm and also through the holiday weekend right now. In Detroit, Grand Firm Social 4. Fierce. So that's why several cities in Metro Detroit have set up warming centers for people who need a place to escape the cold. In Detroit, you can go to any of the 13 Detroit Public Library branches uh, or the Farwell Recreation Center, also the Patton Recreation Center. In Farmington Hills, they've set up two warming centers. Uh, and in Westland, centers have been set up at the police and fire stations. All the details on those locations are on our website at clickondetroit.com. Now today, obviously not the best day to be trying to uh, take off or land a plane in southeast Michigan either. And the, and the airlines really anticipated it canceling around 40% of flights out of Detroit Metro before Friday even started. Hank Winchester live at Detroit Metro right now with a look at some of the frustration for travelers today. Hank?
Uh, Sandra Devon, certainly it's been a long, frustrating day for so many people. If you take a live look behind me here in the McNamara Terminal here at Detroit Metro, you can see it looks, you know, fairly calm. The crowds are moving through security. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of people here in the terminal right now. But as you can imagine, today was a big challenge. This is crazy. Yeah. I expected to walk into chaos. Not bad at all. Yeah. But I heard earlier today it was nuts. Today, a long, tiring travel day for Jerry Millen and his family. And around midnight, I got a text from Delta saying, your flight has been canceled. I'm like, what? The hope was to get the family down to Florida, but the wild weather creating some problems. Uh, they put me and my wife on one flight, my kids on no flight. If all goes as planned, they'll fly into a different city in Florida than they expected, and then they'll start driving. And I was thinking about just catching and renting a car in Miami, if possible, because car rentals are hard to get right now. Listen, plan ahead. And then there's Carla Post. Carla's flight to the UP canceled today. Because it's minus 33 there. Who wants to be in minus 33? <laughs> She's now heading back to her house in Metro Detroit. She won't be able to take off until Tuesday. Now we're rerouted until Tuesday. So, until Tuesday. I mean, that's yeah. quite a that's quite a delay. That's okay. Yeah. We get three days. Yeah. As long as we get to see Granny for Christmas, it's okay. Even yeah. if we're a little bit late. The weather is still causing many delays and cancellations. If you are taking off this evening, it is key that you not only arrive early, but also check in with the airline to find out exactly what is going on with your flight. And it's essential that you do that because we've also seen tonight a number of flights now being canceled that stretch into the evening hours. Also an insider tip, I've been talking with so many people who've been on hold with the airlines two, three, four hours. Take your message and your concern to social media. They have teams dedicated uh, to working on these issues on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. It is a quick, fast way to help you get the answers that you need right now. We're live here at Detroit Metro. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. Great advice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Hank. Still ahead, we catch up with some Metro Detroiters showing truly impressive dedication to their jobs. Brad? It is unpleasant enough just standing here in the wind in the snow, but to work in this stuff? I mean, it's hard to do when you're not in a warm shop or anything like that. We'll be talking to at least one of the guys who had to do that today next.